Am I the asshole for telling my wife she has no choice in the discipline of my children? My ex-wife and I parted shortly after the birth of my 9-year-old daughter. We also have a 12-year-old son together. It wasn't a messy breakup in the slightest. She just fell out of love, and we still maintain an incredible friendship today. County parenting with her is easy. We have 50-50 custody. No courts involved. They spend a week with me and then a week with her. We live close by anyway anyway and they love the arrangement. My ex-wife and I both agreed on the way we would raise and punish our children should they misbehave that way the structure stays consistent and we don't have one parent favored over the other. I've been dating a girl for around 7 years now and she's always been amazing to my children. Last December we got married and things were fine up until now. Last week my daughter stole two pockets full of chocolate from a little corner store, whereas my ex and I would have marched her into the store, return the chocolate to the owner and apologize. My new wife took my children home sat my daughter at the table and forced her to eat the entire lot by herself, making her brother watch. She continued to make my daughter eat even after she'd complained of a bellyache. My son told me when I got home from work. I immediately confronted my wife, telling her that my ex and I both had a system in which to discipline our kids and that she has absolutely no choice in that, that if she's to punish the children she goes by our agreed upon methods. It keeps everything consistent and I didn't appreciate her making my daughter feel sick. She slept all night and skipped dinner because of her stomach. My wife is extremely upset and says I can't expect her to be married to me and not have a say in how they are raised. I again repeated that how they are raised is up to me and my ex and she should respect and follow those methods. I got the silent treatment for a few days before she said she just couldn't handle the sight of me anymore and went to stay with her mother. Of course her mother is now calling me a nasshole and saying that I'm treating her as an unequal parental figure in the house and that she should have a say in how the kids are raised as well considering she's the stepmom. I spoke to my ex about it and she agrees with my stance and thanked me for standing up for our choices and defending our agreement. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole and your wife's discipline methods are abusive as hell. Not the asshole. For seven years your now wife understood how things worked and went along with it but now that she's married she thinks she has a say in the discipline of your children? It is super weird that she did that and her form of discipline is abusive and just appalling. Because you live close to your ex and you now know that your wife cannot be trusted with your children alone, it might be better if the kids go to your ex until you get home during your weeks. Not the asshole but y'all should have talked about how you would involve your now wife in parenting before you married her. What she did to your daughter is so not okay. Not the asshole kudos to you for having a great co-parenting dynamic with your ex. Your wife was borderline abusive. I honestly thought you were going to say she made her sit at the table and write, I will not steal chocolate, 1000 times or something. What she did was horrific. This is the hill I would die on. Not the asshole. What your wife did was messed up. I wouldn't leave her in charge of your kids again. I guarantee this wasn't the first time she did something that fucked up. Ah, your wife abused your child. Yeah, all the choices and she chose to force feed her until she was sick. This is just the beginning my friend. She will harm your children and alienate them from you. Not the asshole for trying to set her straight but, good luck. There is something wrong with her. Not the asshole. Wife is an unequal partner. Both parents agree with how to rear their kids. Just because you put a ring on that finger does not mean she gets free reign. It wasn't an issue before you got married. She's making it an issue. By the way, I agree with you and X on how to handle that situation. Stepmom here. She is an unequal parental figure. The end. Am I the asshole for making my son's day suck when he faked being sick? For starters, I am a 35-yo mom of a 13-year-old boy. My argument is with my husband. My son knew he had a test on Friday. I told him many times he needed to study but he kept pushing it off saying he already knew the material and would ace it. I trusted him as he is an A, B student. Well Friday comes, he leaves for school and an hour later I get a call saying he's sick and needs to come home. It was the usual, stomach ache. I pick him up, take him to a clinic to get checked out and was told by the doctor that absolutely nothing was wrong. The doc did ask if there was Q reason he would want to come home. I told the doc that he had a test that day. When we got home, he immediately went to the TV to turn on video games. I told him if he was sick he needed to go lay down without electronics. He threw a fit saying it was just his stomach and that shouldn't stop his games. I told him he can complete his work he brought home. Lunchtime came and I made him soup. He threw a fit saying he wanted real food, then asked for takeout. 
I told him if his stomach hurt soup was the best thing for it. Later that day, he asked if he could hang out with his friends. I told him no, that he was sick. That evening when his dad got home, he was angry with me saying I should have let him have what he wanted sink we knew he was faking and I just needed to let him have a day off. I argued back that son is allowed one day off per semester and it couldn't be a test day unless he was actually sick and this was his punishment. Husband is still angry with me for making my son's day suck. Am I the asshole? TLDR. Son faked being sick on a test day so I treated him like he was actually sick. Am I the asshole? Edit for clarity. We tell my son that he only gets one mental health day due to previous abuse of them. If he asked for more, we more than likely would not say no. If we see he needs one, we give him one. He does know how to ask for them and he also knows how to ask for help if he's stressed or overwhelmed. This has previously resulted in tutors and it's what started our mental health days. He has not taken a day this semester. He has been to therapy previously due to anxiety from school. We pay very close attention as dad and I both have mental health issues. I can't believe I have to say this but the one day does not count if he is actually sick. Kids get sick, that should not be counted against them. The doctor was because he has to have a note to return to school and he has to have it to excuse the absence. This isn't my choice, this is the rules for our school. Not the asshole. Anything else would have been rewarding his fakery. What you did is called, good parenting. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. My mom had a rule that if you were too sick to go to school, you were too sick to have fun. Not the asshole. I understand where your husband is coming from, but you did this correctly. You went to the doctor, took his concern seriously, and then questioned it when he stopped taking his own concern seriously. The points you made are valid. If his tummy is being ticklish, why does he want takeout? If he is feeling sick, why should he go out with his friends? Your husband is probably looking at it as, taking a day off, which is a little different as a kid than it is as an adult. I mean I take a mental health day here and there, but I also don't get summer or holiday breaks, the kids do. Not the asshole. Made him day suck? Lol. I expected way worse. Oh no no video games when you faked sick to skip a test, made em come get you, and go to the doctor. Then mommy made you soup ans said no friends. Bah ha ha ha. He's fine. Not the asshole. Kids are hilarious. Your husband is being silly too. He might disagree but he shouldn't be upset with you. Not the asshole. If kid needs a genuine break, does he know he can ask for it, provided it doesn't coincide with a test? Other than that, you sound like my mom, and so do I her rule was if you're too sick for school, you're too sick to party. Bed or couch, light mild food, ginger ale, no going out. My kids rolled their eyes, too, but sick days aren't a reward. Not the asshole. If the kid is well enough to play video games, he's well enough to take his test. If he's sick, he needs to be treated like he is sick. He can't have it both ways. Not the asshole. Because if you let him get away with it once, he'll do it again. Stand your ground, and tell your husband to back your play or you'll end up with a teenager that doesn't listen at all. Am I the asshole for insulting my mill after she made comments about me not wanting kids? I, 25F, have four older siblings. Seeing my parents regret having kids and struggle financially and physically I realized at a young age I didn't want children. I love kids and spoiling my nieces and nephews is what keeps me alive but I've never wanted any on my own. I worked my whole life set on the one career so why would I give it up for 18 years of regret? My husband doesn't want kids either but too loves our nieces and nephews. Well, my mill is a strong believer of man being the breadwinner and woman being a stay-at-home mother and housewife. She's very old-fashioned and so is my husband's sister. My mill doesn't have any respect for me after finding out that I will not be having kids. Every time I see her she makes comments like, at your age I already had underscore underscore underscore, or, what are you even doing with your life with no kids? It pisses me off but my husband says to just ignore and we only have to see her at family events. Now here comes the bad part, my Phil never wanted kids, but mill baby trapped him and when my husband was 10 they divorced. Mill was depressed for a very long time and is still in love with him. The other day me and my husband were invited to a small family get-together and of course we went. Everything went well and I was having fun. I picked up my husband's cousins who is only six and started playing with her. Mill took notice of this and walked over to me and said, See, isn't that easy? Now you just have to have your own kids and do this. I mean, what else could you possibly be doing in your life? Stop slacking off.
This pissed me off. In the moment I just said, oh, I don't want kids. Hey? Kinda like, Phil name. Who knows? Maybe my marriage will work out unlike yours because you're too selfish to take others' feelings and wants into account. Mill stood there absolutely dumbfounded before bursting into tears. Everyone immediately rushed over and when Mill told them, some laughed and some were mad. I felt so awful I wished I had never said it. My husband dragged me to the car and said that although she had it coming I could have found something else to say instead of absolutely tearing into her like that. I've received a few messages saying the same thing but most calling me a fucked up asshole, so am I the asshole? Not the asshole it's always the worse when people who constantly degrade and belittle others are absolutely besides themselves where someone has the audacity to be honest with them. Not the asshole. That was long overdue and if your husband had handled his mom sooner and not let it go on for so long it all could have been avoided. Tactful? No. Ah? Uh, no, not the asshole. You and your significant other made it clear you don't want kids and she keeps bringing it up because she has no respect for you or your decision. Now she'll think twice before mentioning it or be verbally knocked on her dairy air again. Jesus. Well, I'm a grandmother who lives for her grandkids but completely understand someone not wanting children. That's not our only purpose as adults and the planet is so troubled it's an act of optimism and faith I no longer possess. So here's to you on that. I think you had that statement ready but I can't really call you an asshole for it. I hope it works because it did cost you. Edit judgment not the asshole. Thanks for the awards. Not the asshole she should mind her own business and maybe then she wouldn't get called out for doing horribly amoral things. Edited to note your husband is an asshole for not backing you up with her long before this. If he had then it likely wouldn't have ever escalated to the point where you were just absolutely done with it and lashed out. Well it was mean and rude. But giving the circumstances you're not the asshole your mill is a lot like mine and those people will never shut up if you don't talk back. Your reproductive decisions are not her business. I hated how people come with the, what about kids? Question without considering deep trauma, infertility, miscarriages and so on. It's so personal. Plus picking up a kid and play with it is so much different than having one yourself. Kids are not easy. Especially when you don't want them. Doesn't mean I think kids are awful or it's their fault or whatever, it's just facts, kids are work. So all these people who are on you about what you said to Mill, where exactly were they when she was saying those awful things to you? Why are your feelings irrelevant, but hers matter? I'd point out that your response was after years of Mill making rude comments to you. Tell them you'll consider their thoughts after they call and get onto her for how she's been treating you for years. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Maybe next time Mill will think about it before pushing her wishes. But you have a bigger problem with your husband. He didn't back you up. Not having children it's a two-person's choice but he threw you under the bus instead of telling her it's what both of you decided. Seems like hubby may think as Mill too. ETA. Even though op was cruel, it seems this is a common problem with Mill. She probably was polite until she couldn't. People like Mill don't stop until you say something rude and then they victimize themselves. Am I the asshole for straight up telling my stepmom I hate her? Okay so I, am 18, I'm off to college next year. I'm going far far away from home and it's all because I hate my stepmom. I'll admit I never gave her much of a chance to be a mom to me since I was already 13 when she moved in. My stepmom never made it easy to like her either. When she moved in she demanded my stepsister gets my room because my room was connected to its own bathroom. Looking back it wasn't a big deal but I still felt really disrespected and it made me really mad for some reason. She would always favor my stepsister and tried to get my dad to be the father she didn't have. My dad was still in grief over my mom dying so he was basically willing to do whatever to have that happy family feeling again. I don't blame him because he was always a family man. So things just got progressively worse in high school. My dad never went to any of my basketball games because my stepmom convinced him that my stepsister deserved more support since the girls games have less fans. It's not a big deal but it kinda hurt that my dad rarely watched me play. There was a bunch of other stuff too that I'm not going to mention. We live really close to a really good college and I ended up getting into it with my stepsister. She was super excited since we are basically best friends to go there. I told both her and my parents that I'm not going there. I'm going to this school that's 8 hours away that's still pretty good and close to my real mom's side grandparents. So last week at a family dinner my stepmom just straight up asked why I'm going so far. I straight up told her it's because I hate her and don't want to be around her. 
I'll admit it's a little harsh but I told her the truth. Both my dad and stepmom are now mad at me and I'm kinda just staying out of the house as much as possible. Edit. Things are going south and I'm fully preparing for them to kick me out. I heard them fighting over what to do so I dk we will see what happens. Looks to me like the real asshole here is your dad. Not the asshole. But you have a dad problem as much, if not more, than a stepmom problem. You say he's a family man. Well guess what? You're a part of that family. Not the asshole. I can't believe your dad is mad at you. What is he mad about? Disturbing the peace? Good for you for choosing your mental health over college rankings. However, since they do matter in my experience, I will also ask if you can go to the one closer and go low or no contact with them. It gets way much easier after moving out. Not the asshole. Your stepmom treated you as less than her own kid and then basically coerced your dad into replacing you with her own daughter, leaving you parentless. You have a pretty good reason to hate on both of them. It's not a big deal, yes, it is. You're laying all of the blame on your SM, but your dad failed you big time. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, she asked for it, and got the truth. Perhaps, you should have given her a more detailed answer including some of what you mentioned here. Of course, that could make things worse. Not the asshole it was harsh, but if it's the truth then it's the truth. It's pretty amazing you managed to get along with your stepsister through all this, which lends credence to the idea that you're not the problem here. It sounds like your stepmom didn't give much thought to what kind of relationship she wants to have with you and that's sad for her because you sound great. Not the asshole. Your stepmom asked a question and you gave an answer. However, you mentioned, wasn't a bid deal, multiple times in your post but it obviously affected you making it a, bid deal. Perhaps this was an attempt to bury things to just get through it but can have a negative affect by not allowing you to truly get past things which is part of forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't for your stepmom but for you to move on, grow, and develop in a healthy manner. Also, your dad did have a role in this hatred. He is a adult who made his decisions and is something that should be thought about when you are ready.